What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Punch Club, where we are on the final runway, the grindy endgame of Punch Club. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and attempt to make some kind of concurrent progress in order to get better at the game. I think we've got enough money right now. I think we have enough money to where I can just hang out at the gym from now on. I'm hoping that's the way that it goes, because we need to start training in order to get through our fights. So, let's pay the ten dollars here and I think we have a fight today or tomorrow or something you can buy all the energy drinks and whatnot that you need right inside of here so this is a perfectly valid way to play the game and in fact this is how I did it in my stream where we beat the game with the strength build I'm not holding out a lot of hope for the agility build though like I was for the strength build the strength build I really feel like I was breezing through the game and it's kinda interesting seeing the contrast with the agility build after seeing things from the opposite side when you play a strength build, it's very, very easy to be like, Agility is horrible, it's biased, blah, blah, blah. And then once you beat the game with strength and you go back to play agility, you're like, hmm. Agility does have some major deficiencies that are tough to run down. Very, very difficult things that are there and you have to offset them, but they don't exactly tell you how. We're going to go ahead and shoot a movie right now. we got to go fight with some pirates again. Let's see here, we got to decide on some abilities. What abilities would I like to lock in? You know, low kick seems like it might be kind of cool. What was I using over here? I was using cutthroat. Oh, cutthroat's right there. Okay. So let's drop this back in. I'm going to try and go for low kick, and then we're also going to go for flip kick. And we're just going to see how that plays out. I think that might be a, a pretty solid... I've been, I've been looking at low kick, and I think we might be able to get some pretty successful debuffing going with it. I actually, I'd like to find something that gives me a successful way to eliminate my opponent's stamina as well, so that stuff like that does not happen, so that we're not constantly getting thumped in the side of the head. Unfortunately, we're not even hurting this guy. That's kind of interesting. Then again, he's draining like six stamina every single time we go after him. Interesting. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen myself not deal damage before. Our kicks are so lightweight that we're not accomplishing anything. I mean, he's not accomplishing anything either, which is pretty swell. But it's definitely going to stretch this fight out and make it take a long time. 21 from right there. As usual, we're looking at probably about four rounds of combat every single time we go up against an opponent. We're doing an okay job of dealing damage now that we got the stamina eliminated. But now he's going to double regenerate because we caught him at the end right there. It's a little unfortunate. Let's go back in with Cutthroat. I think that's probably the best way to keep us dealing damage. I was debating going up to 4 strength and maybe seeing if we could get a couple extra damage on every strike, but taking a look at the stamina cost that we're paying, that might actually be a mud hole that we'll drive ourselves into that we might not be able to get out of without having to wait a while. I'm going to start training at the gym after we get done with this right here. We're having trouble farming up fame. We're having, up, we're having a lot of trouble farming up just about everything, to be honest. I may focus on partying and working on passives in order to get to the final fight. But even so, agility lacks a potency that I didn't really realize. Yes, you don't get hit very much, and yeah, you stay out of the way and nothing can knock you out because it can't touch you. However, when it comes time to put those four knuckles across the opponent's head, you don't really touch them either. You're kind of in a rough situation like that. Continue fighting pirates here who have no weapons and strangely enough are just hanging out wearing long underwear and blue jeans the laziest pirate outfit ever. He's wearing hiking boots, blue jeans, a bandana, and the top part of underwear. Long underwear. He's got long johns on. I miss long johns. We don't have long john silvers where I live anymore. They all shut down. We used to have long john silvers, and I used to go there probably like once every week or two because you get the crumblies. What I do is I get, I would go in and I would get like the chicken strips that they had because I like their fish and I like, you know, their shrimp and their other stuff. But sometimes you got to get some chicken strips and you just dip them in some ranch. So anyways, I would get that, but I would ask for the extra crispies, because I don't know if you've ever been to Long John Silver's, but when they batter the food, like a bunch of the batter will fall down to the bottom of the deep fryer, and it gives them like these crispy things that are at the bottom. We are getting hit a lot by somebody that really comparably, statistically, should not be hitting us. I do think, I would actually go on record, I'm pretty sure the AI cheats with its accuracy. I'm like 80% sure. It's just, I've noticed a contrast in between if I had 10 agility and I was fighting him with 20 agility, you would never land a hit on him ever. Like the entire fight. You remember in the beginning of the game when we were fighting against Salvatore Punches and he only had five more agility than us and yet we couldn't land a hit for like three rounds straight? I think that the, I think the AI cheats its accuracy. I'm pretty sure that it does. 
I, I can't verify it. I can't give you evidence aside from anecdotal shit, but it just seems like they hit me a lot. Even though I've had characters with like four agility hit five times in a row when I have 20 agility, and it just seems kind of unlikely. We'll keep working, but anyways, as I was saying, with Long John Silvers, we don't have those anymore, and I wish that we did because Long John Silvers was the shit. If you don't know what a Long John Silvers is, it's a fast food place where they do fish and chips. That's all that it is. It's like the only big fast food chain that does fish and chips. All the other ones, I mean, you can get limited fish and chips at other places, and there are fish and chip shops, like, there's one a block from my house. I never go. There's a place called Tugboat, I think, too, that does it, but we don't have a Tugboat here. We have, like, a family-owned and operated one down the street. Weirdly enough, all the fish and chip shops have tugboats on the front of them, though. They've all got, like, a little anthropomorphic cartoon boat. Like, whoop, whoop, all on board for fishy eating. I'm like, no, I'm not on board for fishy eating right now. Pop a poplar in your mouth when you eat it, Fishy Joes. That's my favorite song from Futurama. That's probably one of my favorite episodes. Where they're eating the children of Omicron Percy I ate. That shit is hilarious. That's funny in a lot of different ways. So we've already got that reward right there. I'd like to go to the fourth fight at the bare minimum, so at least we're accomplishing something. We've got Pirat 3, and he tried a little bit harder. He's still got the blue jeans and Tims, but at least he took the shirt off and put on a bandana and an eye patch. So in a fight, I think his death perception is probably going to suffer. Oh, that's right. This is the guy that reflects damage at you. Oh. 23. Come on. You're going to be kidding me. Yeah, this agility build is pretty whack, all things considered. I'm really, really surprised to find how bad agility is after everybody talked it up on the forums. Like, it works, but there's definitely, like, a very specific type of build that eats your ass, and that's it. Like, you're done. And this is it right here. The reflective damage build is just like you can't do anything with it because you're reflecting back 30% of the damage you're taking in every single fight. Pretty nasty stuff. Pretty nasty stuff. And then when he's randomly landing thumps for 30 damage in between, it puts you in a rough situation. I do think these fights need to be diversified a little bit better. If you've noticed, almost every single fight we've gone into has been stamina or agility this entire time. It seems like a lot of these builds are created specifically to counter agility players. And I can tell you from experience, for a strength player, there was none of that. It was just me kicking everybody's ass for about 10 minutes straight, and then I beat the game. Knocking people out in a quarter of a round. I'm actually, I would recommend strength builds before I recommend agility builds now. In my opinion, the strength builds are a lot better. The only difference is you keep stamina low. So you have four stamina, you go like 19 strength and like 19 agility, and you'll knock everybody out before the first half of the round. Every single time. He should be manageable. He shouldn't be able to hurt us too bad. But we're definitely not going for the gold on this one. Disappointing, too, because I wanted to film the movie. Really, really disappointing. And I don't know how to fix that. I, I think the biggest mistake that we've made in our builds so far, and I was investigating other people's sort of agility builds, is I think that I should not have taken the thing that limited our stamina. Because at this point, what I could do is I could bring stamina up to, like, 15 or 16, and that would help our armor out so that with the reflective damage and for those random thumps that we're catching, we'd be all right. But because they locked our stamina in a weird play going down the end of the tree, I, I think we may have screwed ourselves from being able to ever really compete in the movie filming scene. We'll be fine for beating the game. It shouldn't be too bad. There's still things that we need, too. But the biggest problem is because we're not winning. Like, if you win at these movie things, you get, like, 30 skill points. And so winning at the movies is kind of important. Like, you need to do that consistently. Like, my strength guy was able to train very, very quickly because he was filming the entire movie every single time and getting the maximum reward. And so he kind of breezed through the back end of the game without any major problems. We're going to have to stop right here. We're definitely not going to take the next guy. So we'll take the prize. We'll take the 500 and the 250 fame right there. We only got 15 skill points, but that will get us back into the tree, which will be all right. So long timer is not what I want. Sharp sting isn't really what I'm working towards either. Mimic techniques is a pretty smart choice because we're we're lacking DPS. I mean, the other thing I could work towards is we could work towards kick dropper, which I think is pretty important for this part of the build as well. But we've got so many things that we've got to fill in that it's actually hard to decide. These are completely pointless. These do not fall down skills are only useful if you're doing other things. Let's take Mimic Techniques for right now. Cobra Strike is apparently super pointless. 
Uh, its accuracy does not appear to be that good. Its stamina cost is pretty much enormous. So I'm thinking that... I heard that the damage it does only lasts for like one turn, too. I heard it's actually pretty bad. Let's go with Mimic Technique, since that's what we were working towards. And then once we've worked towards that... I'm thinking... We'll come back to this side of the field. We'll take Do Not Fall Down. We'll take Rice Eater. Then we'll take Kick Dropper. That should multiply our damage by a small modifier. I think it raises it by 2 or by 2.5 or like 1.5 or something like that still. That's a, that'll be enough to get us from hitting for like 9 to up to hit to, you know, 12 or 13 per strike. Which will also help out a little bit. Now that we've got... How are we doing with this fame thing? How close are we? We are nowhere near. And so we would have to drop some pretty serious Skrilla in order to get up in there. Our daily income is... 20. Hmm. That's low. The other thing, I, I I really don't like this whole branded goods thing at the end of the game. I think that they really dropped the ball right here. It just, it serves to make the whole thing really, really grindy. Because your bar depletes when you buy this stuff. I think the bar should be unaffected by you buying other things up inside of here. Like, this should just be what you've accumulated as of right now. And then you should also have fame as a resource, which you could spend down here separately. So basically your total will be listed up here, whereas your current on hand will be used down here. I There's there's a couple of things in this game that I'm just like, eh. Like, I get it. They were trying to stretch the gameplay out and make the game last longer, but I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. We're going to have to be doing sparring every single day. Since we're not going to be going to the end of every single movie fight, we're just going to have to sort this thing out. We don't want to run Mimic on him because he's not hitting us hard enough anyways to really do anything. There might also be a distinction because if you notice this guy, he's missing us a lot in combat by comparison to some of the other guys we've been fighting. I'm wondering if there's a threshold where you get like a baseline chance to hit versus anybody no matter what their agility is. So for example, it might also be possible the AI is not cheating their agility stat. Instead, the AI hits some unknown threshold and from there you have like a baseline 40% chance to hit regardless of what your opponent's agility is. If that's the case, I'd be like, that's a little shenanigan -y. But eh, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Punch a cha 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 club. Give me my skill points. That's all that I want. There we go. I wish you would just give me the skill points and we didn't have to watch the fight. It'd be faster and less painful. We are now going to live at the gym for a while. I don't think anything in here gives you health, though. So we may have to get our health back every now and again. It'll regenerate on its own. Let's speed bag for a little while. A little concerned about the efficiency of our training regimen while we're in here. But... Doesn't seem to be much I can change about it. People had mentioned that we would train better in here, but I... They don't have enough agility in here. I think for a strength build, you're absolutely correct we would train better in here. But for an agility build, there's only one machine in here that works agility. That kind of does, but it kind of sucks. I don't use it very much. Simultaneously, though, I guess we could work the heavy bag for a bit. And hopefully that'll help out with it. The thing to watch out for is whether or not the meter actually moves every time you get a pip. If it doesn't move, it means that you're getting negligible gains. So, like, right there, it didn't move that last time when we hit it. Yeah, it's not moving until every couple strikes, so I think what we're getting out there is not going to be enough. Jumping rope, I think, is less efficient than any of our other stuff, too. Yeah, as far as I know, jumping rope is not so good on the agility front. Let's go back real fast. Go to the mansion. Hit the basement real quick. And we haven't done our pull-ups in a while, so this should be fully recharged. And after that, we'll get our Wing Chun on. That'll get us up to 21 agility. Which will be very, very, very cool. Because we've been working towards it for a really long time. And so it'd be nice to accomplish. We've got one more day, I think, until we've got to do another fight. That'll be another long-winded experience during which we don't really accomplish much. And we'll continue to accumulate fame. I think we've kind of hit our rock in our hard place right now. Keep that going right there. Yes, a place. Uh, we're going to lose the 21 right here. Yep. We're losing 200 skill points. Can you believe that? The stat loss in this game needs like a 50% across the board nerf. 
It needs it badly. The stat loss is gnarly in this game. It's the sort of thing you would expect from a game that's trying to get you to pay for something, and yet they don't make you pay for anything. And so I'd be like, oh, well, why keep the grind in then? Let's go back to our fridge. Continue this training. I'm going to eat an entire turkey and then three pizzas, and hopefully that'll be good enough. I'm going to drink my coffee as well, and we'll go back down to the basement. Trying to solidify this 21, but God only knows if it's going to be successful. Wing Chun for a little bit. Once the cooldown's off on that, we'll go back and we'll do another movie. After shooting another movie, we'll basically rinse and repeat the entire process. I also need to go and train my skill points every single day, but didn't do it today for some reason. I got Sue. Oh my god, I've been spending so much money. I got a Wii U this week. And actually, I've been having more fun with the Wii U market than I've been having with the Wii U itself. Like, I have Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I've got a couple other games like Mario Kart that I've been playing. But it's like, they've got every classic game from when I was a kid on the market. And so I've just been sitting around playing like Super Mario RPG and whatnot for days. It's absurd. It is utterly absurd how Nintendo takes my money based on nostalgia. They've been like, listen, we could give you a new and fresh experience, or we could do what Disney's been doing for the last 60 years and just capitalize off nostalgia. Which would you prefer? And I go, nostalgia, please. Cha-ching. I say it just like that, too. It's half-hearted. I don't say it like excited style. I'm just like, yay, nostalgia, because I know what they're doing. I'm on to you, Nintendo. I know what you're up to. And I, I don't feel good that it works, but it totally works. Every single time, it works. Let's continue to kick our foes in the face. You gonna fight back at any point? There you go. Throw a couple punches, man. Feel free. I won't even be mad at you. You're allowed to hit him. He that's what his job is. His job is to get punched all day. That would kind of suck, though. If your job was just to be like a human punching bag for other people all day, every day. And to get a little gnarly. It would be troublesome. It's one of those things where somebody just sent me a text message with an attachment that said, I made art yesterday. And like, I'm 50% sure that when I open it, it's going to be a picture of somebody's turd. And so it's, I, whenever I get texts like that, I just don't open them. I'm like, eh, I have bad friends. I have bad friends. Friends that enjoy subjecting me to visions and things the likes of which no man should have to look at. Let's shoot another film. I may actually just start, I don't know. The problem is that partying eats up a whole bunch of time. And so whereas I would like to party all the time. My fighter likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. You guys didn't know that Eddie Murphy had a singing career, did you? That was like his big single that basically ended his musical career. It wasn't that bad of a song either. I think that at a certain point with comedians though, people are like, alright, that's enough of you. Like I, I'm waiting for it to happen with Kevin Hart. Like, he's getting to that point now, like, where Eddie Murphy was at, where he's in everything and you can't go, like, five steps without seeing him. And usually that's right about the time where the backlash occurs. I That's when it happened. I mean, Dane Cook didn't get nearly as far as Kevin Hart. His backlash happened a lot earlier. But Eddie Murphy's... It's also the kids' movies, I think. Once you start doing kids' movies, you catch a backlash, too. Once you start getting all family-friendly and whatnot. I don't know, though. I saw Kevin Hart in Oakland a couple months ago, and it was a good show. Really, really good show. I saw his new material, which he hasn't done his special on. I think it comes out in a month or so. When I was there, they were booting people out. They had probably, it was the entire Arco Arena or whatever that was full. Or whatever the name of that place is in Oakland, I don't know. Entire place was full. There wasn't an empty seat in the house. Kanye West was there. A couple other people were down in the front that I saw that were like major people in California or whatever. But anyways, they had people on every single aisle, like seriously, all the way up to the second deck of the entire stadium. They had a person on every single aisle, and their job was just to stare at you while you were watching the show and make sure you weren't filming it on a cell phone. I watched them kick out probably eight or nine people around me who were trying to take pictures during the show and were trying to videotape his new material so they could put it on the internet and get like a bajillion views. It's pretty gnarly. I'm sure somebody got away with it eventually, but is this the guy that hits really hard? What does he have going on? He's got Hucklebone Blow, which sounds folksy. It's the most folksy of attacks. I'm gonna get rid of Cutthroat, and I kinda wanna play around with Mimic Techniques. We'll see what happens with it. So when do we deal the 9 back? Cause he dealt 9 to us right there. Huh. 
I wonder how that works. Or if you proc it, or like... If it's an attack, or like what it is. I've seen other people use it on me. When I was doing my strength build, I saw a guy use it on me one time. And he hit me back for like 97 damage after a combo, even though he had two strength. And I was like, what was that ability? And then I moused over it on his side, and I was like, oh, that's gangster right there. That's a super hardcore ability. That's an ability that makes you write home to mama and be like, he, mom, he hit me. Punish him. Go write a mean note to the administration. And she's like, maybe you should stand up to yourself. And I was like, I should stand up to myself. If I stood up to myself, maybe I'd be able to stand up to other people better. But for right now, that just takes far too much effort for self-improvement. And I have none. I have none for self-improvement. All right, let's take that out. It's dumb. Oh, stop. Bubble. Out here, baby. Let's go for penetrating strikes and see if I can get through his stamina a little better. We're negating 40% of his armor now, so chances are we'll probably be hitting for slightly higher integers. It's not going to make the fight still take less time than like 10 rounds of, ten rounds ago, but still. You gotta do what you gotta do. So far, I'm thinking that an agility strength pure build is my favorite one I've done so far, just for like the first round knockouts and the fact that nothing can fight you. Granted, sometimes somebody knocks you out with like a three hit combo because you only have like 40 HP when you run that build. But most of the time, you're going to take them out long before they ever hit you, and your agility is so high, they probably won't be able to hit you either. It's pretty swell. Come on, you're going to make this a fifth round fight, aren't you? People are not going out. That's pretty good, because I don't think anybody wants to see somebody get knocked out in the first round when they go to a prize fight. I'd be a little bit upset if I dropped hella money on fight tickets and then got knocked out in the first eight seconds. He just knocked himself out. It's the sucker bet right there. Okay, so this is the guy that hits really hard. So let's try the mimic technique thing on him and see if it does anything. Because I think last time he hit us for like 26 or something. Our damage dealing to him for dodging should be really, really spectacular. We should be able to hurt him pretty badly every single time we get around his moves. Man, we're going in on this guy. We're going in on this guy hard. We didn't do this well last time. This time around, we're making him look foolish. I'm gonna collapse them pecs. Let him find out. God, that would suck if somebody kicked you so hard that your pet collapsed. Like you just had like an invert. Did we just hit him for 40? No way. That was amazing. Against this guy, I don't think it's going to help that much. I think we need to go all in on this guy. And then, do we have anything that's accuracy that, like, negates agility? I think I might run that instead of... Yeah, because he doesn't have a lot of stamina anyways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the agility draining strike so that when it comes down to it, we'll be able to get around and deal some damage. Oh man, we're DPSing ourselves down right now. Come on, man, land a hit. There's no way. How with 14 agility are we not able to hit him? God. This game sometimes. We have a 150% chance to hit. How come things aren't landing? I know he's not negating like a 150% chance to hit. Wow. This is frustrating. This is really frustrating. There's no way a character with 14 agility is able to dodge like that on somebody with 21. Like, we should be landing every single hit here. It's so strange. Apparently our reflective damage isn't working either, only his is. Why we're not using our reflective damage ability, Crossroads, I don't know. When you read the ability, you assume it's going to go off every single time an opponent tries to hit you, and yet it doesn't work like that. There's a lot of ambiguity in the abilities in this game that need to be ironed out. Like, why does this not always go off every single time I dodge? Like, you see right there, he didn't use it a single time that entire time we were dodging. Kind of strange. Kind of strange. We'll take the prize. That puts us up to 23, but we're out of time for the day. I will see you all next time. 
This is Punch Club. We are in the grindy, grindy endgame. I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.